Hi guys, it's Martin from the Awesome Zoom and today this is my video about my reaction to WWE's Roadblock. So last start off the that I started off was the New Day versus the League of Nations. And the New Day came out done the uh, W W E Tag Team Champions with the hips and wings and everything moving and yeah it's not as excitement as it was then they tried far far too hard to sell the new video serial even during the match they will you know, cutting to XCP Wu turn them up like look, these are new, buy them. I'd be like two K holding up every game they came and bought at them saying like buy them, buy it, buy it. You know, yeah, I know they need to self promote but watching that the watch Lemon's fight for the titles not you know, for them to tell us about the new serial. But it was a good, a good match, you know, good occlusion to it. And all, you know, they looked, they looked tag team champions. I don't know if you've seen it, but the uh, backspace, they got under food and Rusev and the bottle the real treated out. That they would have been, would have been the factors in that match if it was M2 in it instead of Seamus and the Bart. So maybe this could be the Duck Suction of the League of Nations. You know, like, you know, breaking up into two power groups. Then WrestleMania, you know, them four go together and have a a big match of like you know have something good on the line for it as well like the next pay-per-view whoever wins will be the number one contenders for the WWE tag team championship hopefully they'll do something like that and make it entertaining a good storyline in the next three weeks to WrestleMania, so let's hope that happens. Anyway, the next match was, was Jack Swagger against Chris Jago, which was pointless. You know, basically came out of nowhere. They, I think they kind of caught the food tag team AJ by two by two AJ to short. If they wanted them to have a WrestleMania match, they could have had Simmons play for the tag team championships at Roblox. They lose, then Castrago does his three code breakers. But they can do that. They don't know, like, a week after, they were, you know, teaming up. And it's just like, well, I think I could be one of the shortest tag teams in history. I'm not honestly sure about that. But, you know, they came out, talked about it, then suddenly they make the Matt Nagus think that this was the plan to have Kiss Jago against Jack Swagger. It was a Bobby Smart. It was boring, mate. It's just dull. Even talking about this making me all. <laughs> anyway, after that, it was the NXT Tag Team Championship match, and holy shit, it was, do I say, awesome. Because it had everything 
in a, you know, a segment the charisma and you got to see the future of the WWE in it and it was an amazing match now me myself I don't watch NXT but as I come up, basically come up in the story and the promo before the match they told me about that happened in December at NXT arrivals and this you know basically told me the story behind it instead unlike they don't have Chris Jericho's they went back six years and Jack Swagger handed their money in the bank on him no if he wanted that match that bad he could have done it you know that year at least anyway after that was the Davis match and mm, it was alright you know they focused too much on the submissions move the two families had you know the figure 4 into the figure 8 then the soft shooter so stop super I worked out the soft shooter and I really you know, didn't feel the excitement of the match, you know, so me by the match was on, Natalia was having an interview, talking about Bret Hart, and when I'm on him, hope he gets well soon and he'll be cancer, you can't do it, head man, anyway, you know, since he came in, you know, like, no, 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 I have a title match at WrestleMania, no, 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 chip a third eye, you're not even a third, put the title on the line, and I'm talking about a third. Like, the end of it was confusing, because Charlotte held her father's arms with floor, and, you know, basically confused, you could say. You know, and they got the Charlotte got the pin for but. Anyway, I think since it was a counter for she entered, they should be, be put in the chip of that match at WrestleMania because I honestly think she's underrated. She's a billion, billion diva. Anyway, I thought it was one of the most boring, boring matches in my life I've ever seen. Like, I would have preferred to see Hornswoggle go up against the Rats than Brock Lesnar in that match because they were in the storyline, you know. The thing happened that Royal Rumble, you know, the Rats kicked them out after Brock Lesnar eliminated them all, except for Bray. Then, you know, they all came back in and attacked them. Eliminated them. Then the next night on war, they, if I'm right, I think they beat them down. I'm not sure, I think I might have got that wrong. My policies, if I have, then they stopped it because, you know, he was put in the match at Fastlane. Then after Fastlane, um, him and Dean Ambrose started the food for WrestleMania, which should be an amazing match, them two in a no whole spa match. You know, it's just chaos in the valley. But there was no storyline, it was what, maybe about four minutes long, if we're lucky. And I just found the bone because Bay Wyatt didn't even get into the match. I'm not sure about the story if he was injured or anything, but even if he was, you know, there are two other guys, so the hub. Luke Harper, the, I would have actually kind of liked to see Brock Lesnar against Braun Strowman, you know, even for a couple of minutes in that match, you know, the tension, but like them do it, like, bored me with that match, but then, um, anyway, there's no real point of it, then the second best match of the night for me was the main event. Dean Elbows get triple hits for the WWE World 
tag team champions up. And I honestly think it was a belly match. I don't know about you guys. You know, it had the turning points at the right bits. And it didn't drag on too long. Just the right amount. And they actually messed up on Dean Ambrose's uh, pin on Trevor H. Because his feet were actually still within the ropes. So, I have a f feeling that they probably won't do it, but if they do, they could open the match with Dean Ambrose Brock Lesnar. Whoever wins could be put in the main event. You know, basically like a Daniel Bryan thing. You know, since he's gone, there's you know, not really a point now, because if Everyone wants to see Thomas, but you know, nothing odd, does anyone's going at it with a warning about a match later in the night. So I hope they don't do that. Anyway, it was a brilliant match. Trevor Hayes is still his champion. And thanks for watching. And until next time, guys, stay awesome. Thanks.